Hello, hello! I am Packmaster Ken here, and welcome to Life is Strange, Episode 2, Part 2! <sighs> I'm so sorry I've been away for like a week. It was really hectic. I worked. Um, my little brother had spring break, and I used his computer, so he's constantly on it. And my laptop does not do justice for YouTube videos, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm back. My hair's blonder. My skin is tanner. I was burnt to a crisp the other day. I was gonna make a video and I was like, no, I'll get made fun of. Also, I gained a few subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, it is really appreciated. And I should have a ten- I should have like three videos for you tomorrow because I feel so bad about leaving for like a week. So, I can't even remember what- yeah, see, this is how long it's been since I've played this game. I know I played another game, but... Alright, I can't even remember where we are. I... I cannot remember for the life of me where we are. <sighs> Shit. It's too bad I'm not, like, crispy tan, because I had a, the best joke. And now I'm, like, I'm, like, fine. I'm... I was, I was so crispy. I was Red Lobster. Oh. Yeah, what are we doing? I forget. What are you doing? I feel like I should talk to more people and interact with more things. Rachel, the money pay up bitch. Who are you? Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Oh. Uh, you look like Taylor Swift! I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Oh wait, what are we supposed to talk about? Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. What? Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. Yeah, Taylor. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Yeah, she's a bitch. Bossy best friend. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Aww. We've had our talk. What? Why do I have to rewind? Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. Aw, Taylor I'm Swift. Glad we did. Taylor Swift! Yo! Yeah. I'm friends with Taylor Swift now. Well, she really does look like Taylor Swift from, like, the, the You Belong With Me days. What? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a, f a final polite warning. You can suck my dick because people who are rich just use big legal terms to scare people and- Max, it's over here. Oh my god. Walter. Oh, Jesus. Lauren, Walter. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Look at his face. Waiting <laughs> for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. This dude is not smooth. Hmm, thank you. That was intense. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You got hit by a You're dick. You're a real everyday hero. <laughs> you stood up to a bully and it was awesome. 
Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? It's my homegirl. Just a pirate. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Uh -huh. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Ah, uh, drugs. Drugs. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Does your shirt have a have a box with a meow on it? Because that's a little, it's a little, you know, you know, I'll give you a chance, Walter. You know, you're a good yes, kid. Yes, that's exactly you're what I You're a good I mean. kid. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. You are so smooth. I can't even deal with it. <sighs> oh, by the way, happy Easter, everybody. That was yesterday, but happy Easter. Yeah. I was going to come on and do something, and then my family came over, and it was hectic, so I'm here now. David I'm talking to Nathan Easter. cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Leave, leave the homegirl Kate out of this. Go Bigfoot. What? I forgot to set my timer. I hope this video isn't too damn long. God. She has a deer on her shirt. Pretty kick ass. Music in this in this game is just incredible. I can't even deal with it. Don't you know that I'll be around to the the, she's literally me. Like that's what I do. I sit there with my headphones and it's just like <laughs> on crazy ass bus rides. How long is this bus ride? Can I skip it? She looks so drugged out. I don't know what her problem is. She looks so high. What's wrong with you? Is it me or does that bus look abnormally big right now? I don't even know. I'm so tired. Oh, the lighthouse! I saw that. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm lost. Whoa, don't lag on me. Don't get all crazy. Please. Please don't get all crazy. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. 407? God damn it. What a time to be alive. Where am I going? Why, why am I at the sky? Oh, the two whales. Oh, that's what we were doing. We were meeting Chloe. Okay. Okay, I remember. I don't, wait. Wait. We're, we're gonna... What the hell? Okay. Chloe. Um. Oh, people are texting my own phone. Two whales. Okay. Don't be late. 40 minutes. Okay. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Is this it? Yeah. Two whales. I love little old school diners. They're so cool. I can't even deal with it. Can I, like, open it? Can I... This... Yeah. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. What do you want? Running late. Running late? You told me to be here! 
Okay, running out, you grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Justin. Hi, trucker. Nope, nope. Don't go back in time. Is this this? Okay. Alright. Oh, it's saved. Good. Here are you. It'd be funny she hit her head. <laughs> and there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you. Oh, that's Chloe's mom. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. What? Oh. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Can I have some bacon, Joyce, please? I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I just have my bacon. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's girl. got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. A doobie. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. Grass, but doobie. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Can I have my damn... Can I have my damn bacon? I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I want bacon. Oh, bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Ugh, coffee's gross. Can I have some herbal tea? Why are you sitting there like that? I swear to God, this girl's stoned. One bacon omelet for the young lady, stat. What's that? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Oh my God, Walter. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Uh, menu. Menu. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Oh, they're not that bad. Hmm. Mineral water is a dollar. Water should be free. Wow. That's crap. Alright. I guess I have to drink this nasty coffee. Ugh. Who put that on? Some beer and bacon before I die? Yo. <laughs> My man. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Uh, my man, yeah, beer, bacon, and rock and roll. 
Yeah, drink that nasty shit. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Oh, shut your mouth. Incoming. What? Is that my bacon? Can I bake it? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, man. Yeah, same. Here, you'll love this. I'm ruling like a baby. That's so, so weird. You're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, speak of the devil. Blue haired girl! Yeah! Oh, oh, I Mom see how it is. Together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn cot fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, mom, please do not oh, give Max Oh shit, I thought we were that. over that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. But woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <gasps> Max! Look at her face, she's pissed. You guys are still the same. <laughs> Another reason to blow this town? <laughs> she looks so bad. She's like, oh, my bacon. What is this shit on the jukebox? Um, it's country, and if you change it, I'm gonna beat your ass. Now that that's out of the way. Oh my god, I can't stand this girl Let's sometimes. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have Can any explanation, not? and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof <clears throat> you can rewind time. This all right, is stop all talking. happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, razor blade keychain. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, Titty. Uh, that was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. I'm gonna punch you in the face. You need to... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, panda keychain. Alright. The uh, cigarettes. There's seven. Seven of those. There is... 75, 80... No! You got this, Max. Wait, I'm not done. Okay, Max. Study Stop. every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, so 75, 80, 82, 84, 86 cents. And, uh, a parking ticket, Southeast Franklin, September 21st, Twin Peaks, out of parking bay, 10.34 a.m. All right. Let's do this. What, what now? Oh. Sorry, forgot. Come on, Max. Whoa. I'm telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. Cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Yeah, it's seven. Seven cigarettes. A <laughs> superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yeah. Yeah, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? 
Uh, money. You have 86 cents. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Mm. So that was mm. cool. Show me more. No. You have a parking ticket. A parking ticket? You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Tja, bitch. Why do you look Amaze so scared? I literally just got chills all over my neck. Amazeballs. <laughs> you have powers. No shit. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <gasps> Man! How's the food, Max? It's Better amazing. than I remembered. It's amazing. Very good save. It's amazeballs. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Who eats like that? It's gross. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Uh. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. It's coffee. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Slap me, bitch. He started it. I'm finishing it. Chloe, your mom's pretty mean. This is yet. sure the hell better That's than the that best other song garbage. I've heard I yet. think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, right, what are you waiting for? Right. Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Let's go faster. There we go. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Joyce beats them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I hope. I wasn't paying attention. I should have paid attention. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think bitch. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it was a cockroach. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's Whoops. Locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now what? I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that oh just happened. Oh my god. Uh, shift that shit. Come on. I'm going to predict <laughs> four events. All right. 
trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is okay. getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Okay. Come on, last one. Uh... The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. That's disgusting. Pretty Why bizarre, are you Max? eating there? <laughs> well, let's see if everything happens like you said. Oh, I guess I got it right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? No, Mom. no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge Gross. allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a boy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Okay. I'm going to end this one here so that it's not like two hours long. Um, because I know I can't keep your attention for that long. Because I can't even keep my own attention for like five minutes. But anyway, please like this video. Um, I am posting regularly now. Now that school's back and my little brother's back in school and I have time. So, yep, video every day. And please share this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.